In this part of the series, we're going to talk about creating an automated door using the Training Builder in SimLab Composer. The first thing that we need to do is to create an animation sequence for the door. As we previously showed in the animation part of the series, select the right side of the door and set the time slider to frame 60, then rotate the door 90 degrees as if it was open. Do the same for the other side of the door. Now select the assembly containing both sides of the door to display all the created keyframes. Select all four keyframes and click on the Create Sequence button. Type in a name for the sequence and make sure you check the reverse option, then click OK. Click on Training Builder. The Training Builder is a node-based event system that allows you to create a network of related events. It is greatly useful when attempting to create intricate event systems. The Training Builder is primarily consisting of event nodes and responses that occur when the events are triggered. Additionally, there are also input nodes to connect the elements from the scene to the Training Builder. The event that we need to use for the door is the Object Enters Object event, and as the name states, this event can trigger a response when an object, which is the user in this case, enters another object, and that is perfect for creating an automated door. Click on it or drag it onto the working area. From the objects tree to the left, select the starting position. Add a scene node in the training builder and attach the starting position to it. Now attach the output of the scene node to the input of the event node. For the second object, we can use the door but this would make the door open when the user is too close, unlike automated doors where they have a sensor with a larger coverage. So to mimic the behavior of a door sensor, go to the Create menu and select Shapes, then Cylinder. Press N on the keyboard and click near the door to snap the cylinder there. Then adjust its position and scale to cover the area in front of the door. Add a scene node and attach the cylinder to it, then attach the input node to the event node. As for the response, add a play sequence response and attach the event node to it. Now drag and drop the automated door sequence to the graph and attach it to the play sequence response. What we now have is an event system that triggers a door animation when the user enters the cylinder. We can go further by creating an event that closes the door when the user leaves the cylinder. To do that, create an object exits object node, and attach the same scene node's inputs to it. Add a play sequence response, but this time attach the reversed version of the automated door to close the door. Now we have two systems where the door opens when the user approaches it, and it closes when the user goes away. The last thing we need to do is to make the cylinder invisible, so select the cylinder from the material tab and set its alpha value to zero. Run the VR experience. The Training Builder in SimLab Composer is very simple to learn and to use, yet it is able to produce complex event systems that can make your VR experience very unique and greatly interactive.